What's going on everybody? Got another quad to show you here. Just finished building this for someone. Looks pretty nice. This is the TBS Pro. As you can see, it's got the gimbal on there. It's, in my opinion, one of the best designed quads. Very easy to set up. One of the best Six layouts. Over. 16 minutes. Timer cleared. As you can see, I'm running the DX9 on it. Got everything set up. I could show you go through the switches really quick. Give you a little tutorial. Time remaining 10 minutes. That's your zero time seconds. remaining Timer, switch. Zero seconds. This is your flight mode switch. Right now it's in GPS, which is on zero. Flight mode two. That's your attitude. Flight mode three. And that's your manual. Flight mode one. Then you got your rates over here. I set a. It's only exponential though. I didn't change any of the actual rates, just making it a little softer. So I got uh, high, mid rate, mid, low rate, and low, high rate. Um, if you were using the IOC uh, orientation control and home lock, it, it would be this. Flight switch. mode four. Flight mode five. Flight mode one. You got your fail safe over here. Landing mode. Flight mode one. Landing mode. Flight mode Pretty one. Cool. Um, back here on the back of the radio, this is my camera switch. So I put it over here. That's GoPro. Off. That's regular FPV. GoPro. Off. FPV. Off. Pretty sweet. Now if you look on the screen, I'm gonna show you something really quick. If you pull the switches, flight mode two, flight mode three tells you what flight mode, mode you're on. two, flight mode one it also tells you landing mode. When you put it in fail safe, as you can see, I also have the quad flight mode one symbol on here, pretty nice looking. And if you have the orientation control working, flight mode four, flight mode five, flight mode four, flight mode one, flight mode two. Flight mode four, flight mode two, flight mode one. That works. Then, on this side, on this slider, this is my gimbal control, which I will show you. Slide. Gear up. When it goes up, it says gear up. Gear when down. It goes down. Gear goes down. So that's this one down here. Gear up. Gear down. Pretty nice. Everything else is pretty much set up basically the same. Um, you have to, to arm it, you have to pull the two switches down or out. You can also disarm it that way. As you see, it's running all the TBS 900kV V2 motors on here. With the Grofner 9x5s. This is running the new TBS Boss. This is a 500 milliwatt uh, transmitter, video transmitter. I did test it on the Immersion. Um, uh, let me see if I can grab it on the power meter here. I did test it on here and it actually put out about 700 it was about 690 to 700 average so i tested it with this and it shows pretty good it works really well it comes with a 30 db attenuator and then you got your little lead right here and then you got your display that comes up on here this works really nice i'll probably do a, a video of this next um, so as you see, I got the gear, the camera facing down right now. Put it back in the middle. Pretty nice. It's very smooth. I didn't change any of the settings, and I don't recommend updating the firmware on the Alex Moss. The 2.1 seems to work the best. So don't update the firmware. We are running the telemetry unit on here, as you can see. The TM1000 is running on here. I did cover it as you can see, everything's covered. It is the Spectrum AR8000 receiver. Um, right now we are only running the
the telemetry voltage. Soon we'll be running the altimeter and maybe even the GPS unit. On this one we are running the NASA V2. As you can sort of see under there, it's nicely, everything snug under there. Battery fits really nice. This is a 4400 Thunder Power. Um, he's going to be running the 4500s or maybe a 5000 pack in here. Pretty nice. Got the LED right here, as you can see. Pretty nice. Everything's laid out really nice and clean. You got your little satellite over here. As you can see, I ran the wires really nice and clean, so everything looks nice. What else can I say? Um, this one is running the TBS 69 camera. That's right there. It's got the little heat sink. This is uh, one of the best cameras that I've used. Um, it's got the heat, heat sink for the Pixum Seawolf um, chip, and that's one of the best chips I've I've used so far to date and I've used a lot of different cameras so yeah thanks for watching the video check out all of my other videos um, I'm going to post uh, a file I'm gonna have to post it somewhere so you guys can uh, get the file from me um, but I am gonna have to rework it I guess from Transferring it from my DX18 to this one, it doesn't let me transfer that image and all the settings fully when I transfer it to another DX9. So I had to make the program fully all over again on DX9 and then transfer it. So I'll be doing that soon. And then that's about it. It's a nice quad. If you're looking for a aerial photography rig, this one is awesome. The GoPro fits right in front and props are out of your view it's just an amazing amazing quad and it takes great footage trappy from team black sheep this quad is the best if you're seeing this video this is the best quad i've seen so far and i've seen a lot of other ones i've test flown a lot of other ones i've even tried the 540g and this one by far is still one of my favorites. Um, everything on the frame is awesome. That is probably the best feature of this quad. Well, thanks for watching my videos. Hope you like it. Subscribe, check out my other videos, and there'll be more videos to come.